Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, so the title of the video then. Well, we'll get to that in just a minute, but first of all, let me just quickly explain um, about the drawing that you're seeing here. Um, this is one that I'd done a watercolour of um, several months ago. This is going to be the graphite version of it. Um, it's of a couple of Norfolk cottages and the paper that I'm using is A4. And there'll be a full video demonstration of this over on my Patreon channel. Um, there's 10 videos to accompany this and the drawing took me around about 10 hours I think. Um, so the watercolour version and the graphite version of this will be over on my Patreon channel. It only costs $4 a month and there's hundreds of videos over there. Um, okay, that's the shameless plugs out of the way. So let's get on to talking about these rules then of drawing. So the first rule, very important, most important of all, actually, the first rule is there aren't any rules. So that's just kind of ended this video very swiftly, hasn't it? Well, it hasn't actually, because um, the other so-called rules that I'm going to talk about aren't really rules at all. Um, obviously, there aren't any rules. So these are more sort of valuable guidelines and principles to help you along on your artistic journey. OK. Now, the second one is patience. Now, that's fairly self-explanatory. Um, now, you've probably heard me say in a previous video that you can teach somebody to draw in an afternoon. Now, that sounds very cringy, doesn't it? And like a false statement. Now, I don't literally mean that you can, you know, be a master artist within an afternoon. All I mean by that is you can show somebody um, all the drawing equipment and explain to them how to use it, what it does. And you can show them some simple techniques, pencil strokes, texturing techniques, blending techniques, all within the space of an afternoon very quickly. But then it's going to take a very long time to master all of that. And that's where you're going to need patience because if you expect results quickly, good results quickly, um, that's not a good thing. It's not going to happen. Sometimes I cringe when I see titles like how to draw in 10 days, learn to draw fast and all of this kind of stuff. Yes, you're going to learn something, um, but you never stop learning to draw. So it's not a, a final thing. You know, you will learn how to draw in 10 days. But I think that's pretty impossible, actually. Again, we can teach somebody the very basics in a very short space of time, but it's going to take a lot of investment on your part to um, master those skills, master those techniques. And you can only do that with lots of patience. Lots and lots of patience, very important. Okay, so on to number three, and that's observation. And again, you've probably heard me talk about this before, um, but the main point I want to make about that, I mean, I could make an entire video about each one of these principles, but I'm just trying to be very concise and quick about this. Um, so the main thing really, the important thing about observation is the more time you spend observing a reference photo or a landscape in front of you or whatever it is that you're going to draw or paint, the longer you spend observing that, the more information you're giving your brain to translate, to translate that onto your paper or your canvas. So the more time spent observing equals more information to draw or paint. As simple as that. Okay, now the next one is practice, and it's kind of related to observation and patience. They're all kind of interlinked in a way, but we can hardly make a video with a title like that without mentioning the word practice. Now, it's amazing how many people I see that practice their bad habits over and over again. You've probably heard the term perfect practice or correct practice, and that basically just means don't practice your bad habits, you know. Just because it's practice, it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it's a good thing or it's the right thing. Because the more time you spend practicing can just equate to the more time you get better at your bad habits. So you've got to be aware of where you're going wrong and what you're doing wrong. And again, this is why these are all related, because observation is going to play a key part with your practice and patience is going to play a key part with your practice as well so if you're doing I mean you've probably heard this the saying you know if you do what you've always done you'll get what you've always got 
and that relates to you know practicing bad habits so be aware of your bad habits and change them change them as quick as you can stop practicing the same habits if you're not getting results and you're practicing over and over and over again but you're just not seeing results you're obviously not practicing the right way you obviously need to observe more um, and change what you're doing and try new things and again I could make a whole video <laughs> I could I'd probably write a whole book on that subject alone okay but just to touch on it in this video I've got to be fairly brief about it because I've got several others to get through okay so the next one now I've called this one asking yourself the right questions now I'll just quickly explain about that because it's very important again the, you, you'll probably notice a bit of a theme here how these kind of follow on each principle kind of follows on and is interlinked to all of them now when you're asking yourself the right questions what I mean by that is for example I mean here's a great example how many times have you said to yourself when you're drawing or painting I can't do this this is too hard I can't do that you're instantly giving your brain the message to, to shut off and to stop thinking about this anymore and what we need to do is to put our brains into problem-solving mode so what I mean by that is if for example you're on a part of a drawing and you've never done that kind of element in a landscape before you've never drawn anything like that before instead of saying I've never done anything like that before I don't know how to do that and putting your brain to sleep basically if you turn around and say how do I draw that area in the landscape or in whatever it is you're drawing or ask yourself other questions always ask the question and never give sort of a final um, closing answer to your brain always ask a question and put it into problem-solving mode because without that you just won't get answers it's a funny thing I mean here's a great example this happens to me a lot I don't know if this happens to you but if ever I'm trying to work something out that's very complicated or something like that I always say to myself okay how do I do this this at the moment is not looking right I want this to look right how do I get this to look right what do I need to do and even if I can't find the answer straight away, it's funny, I can go to bed in the evening, wake up the next morning, and bingo, that answer just pops into my head. But that's never going to happen if you just tell your brain not to think about that, and just tell your brain that you can't do it, so don't think about it anymore, we don't need answers on it, we've already said we can't do it. Totally the wrong thing to do. Always ask yourself the right questions, very important, okay? So the final one, and this is one of my favorite ones, and that's regular breaks. Take regular breaks. It sounds so simple um, that we almost forget to do it. You know, we get carried away with our drawing. We're really enjoying it. And the time just flies by. And there's nothing wrong with that. Of course there's not. You know, if you're enjoying something, why wouldn't you want to keep going with it? But let me just explain how important it is to take regular breaks because you can get too close to the wood to see the trees. You know, when you've been sitting there drawing for hours on end, things start to get a little bit frustrating. You know, you start to get a little bit tired, your shoulders and neck start to ache and all this kind of stuff. And you're not at your best. You know, your eyes are getting tired and all that kind of stuff. Have you ever been drawing in the evening, gone to bed, gone to sleep, woke up in the morning, come back downstairs, looked at your drawing and thought, it didn't look like that last night. It seems to look different this morning. Well, again, that's because you weren't taking regular breaks. You know, you are getting too close to the wood to see the trees. And this is a trap you can fall into with drawing. I always kind of pace myself to 30 to 40 minute sessions. Even if I draw all day long, I take breaks, regular breaks, at sort of 30, 40 minutes. Even if I just go and focus on something different, I might just look out of the window. I might go and make myself a drink or something to eat. Come back 10 minutes later. And I can start to see the drawing with fresh eyes, I'm re-energised, my mind is clear and the drawing looks different. It doesn't look like it did when I was sat there drawing. And this can be really helpful. Again, this is kind of linked to a lot of the other principles we've talked about, you know, observation and all that kind of stuff because you'll see the drawing in a different way and you will actually see mistakes and things that need correcting that you didn't see before when you were just sitting there happily drawing away for hours on end. 
So very, very important, not only for the sake of the drawing, but for the sake of your physical health as well, because it's not good to sit there for hours and hours on end. You will get, you know, a stiff neck and shoulders and things like that stooped over your drawing desk. Okay, so I could go on and on and on about this. I've, I, li I literally wrote a list of about 50 principles, but obviously I can't get them all in on this video. So I'll talk about them more in other videos and a lot more over on Patreon as well as I make the videos. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful to you. If you adopt those principles, I'm sure they're going to serve you well throughout your artistic journey. Okay, so we're just about at the end of the video now. The drawing's just about finished. And remember, the full um, drawing lesson of this will be over on my Patreon channel. There'll be links on the end screen and links in the description below for you as well. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.